Hello, I just recently did a video on the Spectrum Synthesizer, video number 36, and the TARDIS sort of appears from nowhere, and I do a little trick with a screwdriver. I've had quite a few people ask me how I did it, so I think it's only fair to show you. Uh, basically, I make the TARDIS appear like this. Okay, and then the second bit of the trick, obviously, I open up the doors. And I'll just say, hello, can I borrow your screwdriver, please, if you don't mind? Thank you very much. And then I pull out a great big screwdriver and put it back in again. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all this in a minute. It's quite simple. There's no green screen effects. And then I said, actually, I want to use that screwdriver there. And then I put my whole arm in and bring out a little screwdriver, like so. Say so thank you very much close the doors and off he goes on his merry way well there's no green screen or that sort of trickery involved it's all to do with layering uh, a bit of video over another bit of video and let me show you how that's done now, as you'll see when I started off the TARDIS is actually already there it's, it's already sitting there I didn't bring it in I just ignored that it was there and then I've cut away, or rather superimposed, a bit of the video of the TARDIS not being there and put that into the video and then blended it out. So that reveals that the TARDIS is actually there all the time. So now what I've got to do is record a little bit of a video without the TARDIS there. So if I just disconnect the TARDIS, because I've got it so it lights up, and flashes to make it look a little bit more realistic and um, we take this piece of uh, wire away out of shot and then we move the TARDIS and hopefully without disturbing anything else in view we get rid of uh, this this wire now and now all I do is I just sit here and do nothing for a moment because what I want to do is record about the same amount of time of the TARDIS not being there. So, now the TARDIS isn't there, this piece of video to about here, I cut a line and then that is then brought forward and overlaid over the bit of video I just did previously when the TARDIS was actually there. Now as you'll see as well my friend here passes me the screwdriver like so and he's actually putting it through the back of the TARDIS because I've had to cut a little hole so I can actually get my hand through and if you've got that at just the right angle there with the cuts in place then I can pass this and he takes it off me and put my arm through and of course my arm's sticking out through the back there to grab a screwdriver and then I pull the screwdriver out and uh, that's about it really sometimes it's the simple things that uh, are quite effective so I'll show you now on the uh, Final Cut Pro I used how I just sort of blend one piece over another so open up Final Cut Pro uh, this will work in lots of different things I think it works in iMovie as well so I'm just going to try and find where Jason and his screwdriver just appears on the left hand side of the screen there okay and now I've got to choose a bit of video that I'm going to use to overlay so Actually, I want a little bit more than that. Maybe, maybe about there. Just a little bit more for good luck. Yeah, I can always chop a bit off if it's too long anyway. So now, grab that and drop it over the top of that video. The main video piece under the bottom. Detach the audio and then delete the audio because you don't want two audios running at the same time. Now, choose a mask. And the mask you drop into there. And these four little points appear on the screen now you move these around and this is like cutting or cropping rather 
if you can get them to go a longer line it just makes everything a lot easier now you see the TARDIS door here will suddenly open because that's a second piece of video now if I can just trim that to the right length just about there yeah that'll do right so half of that TARDIS is one video and the other half of the TARDIS is another bit of video but I've got this shading going off here can you just see two different shades uh, so if I go into color correction now and I just go up and down a bit that piece above the TARDIS just disappears well as near as damn it anyway I can't get it spot on because I haven't got a Hollywood budget right how's that that's much better there's a bit of shading under the TARDIS now this piece here is the length of time it takes to go from zero to 100% opacity and I want to set that right just for my sound effects anyway well thanks very much for watching that and if you like the video please give us a thumbs up because that helps in the video searches and things uh, and I'll find something else to do shortly all the best bye